snakes can get fat. This is especially true if your snake is sedentary by nature. If the particular species you own is not known for its activity, such as boas and pythons, overfeeding and just a general tendency to want to eat more can present a major problem as time passes. If you've noticed that your snake has grown much larger than it should for its species, obesity is likely the issue. One of the core symptoms of being overweight is what is known as scale spreading. This is a problem in which a snake's skin will show in between the gaps of their scales. This is more or less the equivalence of stretch marks in humans. In this video, we will discuss the average length and weight of specific types of species, the primary symptoms that accompany being overweight, the health problems associated with excessive weight gain, and how you can potentially control and remedy the situation. While it's important to note that being overweight does not always equal unhealthy, it's always vital to monitor your snake's size, especially if it's far out of bounds with standard reference tables for how your snake should look and weigh. While snakes do produce body fat and will typically go weeks and even months without eating, they can become overweight. Snakes that are in captivity are more likely to get fat because they are unable to burn off energy in an appropriate fashion. Overfeeding only makes the issue more extreme as they lack the proper metabolism to maintain. This only aids to pack on the pounds. As noted in our introduction, the more sedentary the snake, the more problems can arise. If your snake is fairly inactive due to its species, it will be more likely to succumb to problematic weight gain. While a snake will never get fat on a normal diet, ownership can play an important role. Just like with any pet, love is often expressed with a meal. Overfeeding can become a real issue. As a point of clarification, being overweight and being obese are not the same. This language applies to both people and snakes. While snakes can certainly become overweight, obesity in the medical definition of the word is impossible to properly gauge. Because snakes have a different body structure and don't store fat in the same way humans do, it's not accurate to classify a snake as obese in the exact same way you would a human. However, it's clear that snakes can grow out of control if they are irresponsibly cared for. Whether medically obese or not, snakes can reach an unhealthy weight, which can prove to have dire consequences. Whether you're a new owner or a seasoned pro, it's important to have a baseline knowledge as to the weight and length of your snake as it relates to what is standard and normal and what is a bit out of bounds. Let's explore five of the most common pet snakes and see how they stack up in terms of hatch stats, as well as what's expected at the one year mark and beyond. This statistical information will be displayed on screen. If you happen to miss a stat, be sure to scroll back in the video timeline or simply pause the frame. We hope you find this data beneficial.
the one year mark, females will begin to get longer and heavier compared to their male counterparts. As an owner, this is when you should stop feeding your snake for growth and begin feeding for nutrition and general health. However, if your snake is underweight at the 12 month mark, continue feeding for growth until they reach the standards that were just mentioned in the statistical breakdown. In terms of two to three years and beyond, the weight and size of your snake will vary compared to other species. This is normal. Milk snakes are a good example. Some subspecies of milk snakes will grow much larger than others. As long as you've identified your particular snake and know the data, that's all you should really be concerned about. As long as you feed your snake a normal diet, you will likely have nothing to worry about. If you are unable to tell if your snake is overweight, chances are they're not. You're doing a positive job. As we noted earlier, scale spreading is one of the most telltale signs that your snake is overweight. While a small amount of spreading is okay, especially after a large meal, spreading that fails to go away is indeed an issue. Other signs can include large around the middle, excessive weight around the gut that is perpetual, heavy and soft. Most snakes are firm and muscular. If your snake is heavy yet soft, this is a concern. Inactivity. While some snakes are naturally more inactive than others, if your snake is overweight, most everything will come to a halt. If your snake refuses to move even while being handled, this is a problem. If you're still not sure if your snake is overweight or not, or perhaps in a general state of unhealthiness, we encourage you to take your pet to the vet as soon as possible. It's better to be safe than sorry. Do it for your own peace of mind, if nothing else. Always be a responsible owner. Being overweight or obese comes with health concerns. This goes for people, dogs, cats, snakes, etc. Clogged arteries and kidney problems can harm your snake considerably. Because snakes have a long life expectancy across the board, these issues can certainly play a negative role when it comes to meeting the average age of the species. This is why addressing these health concerns is paramount, because the problems can get out of hand in a hurry if they are left undiagnosed and untreated. The best way to control your snake's weight, in this case, lose weight, is with a controlled diet. Dieting is safe if done properly. In order to help your snake lose weight, it's wise to consider cutting the serving sizes in half or expanding the amount of time between meals. As we've noted, snakes that are fed properly are far less likely to have weight issues. In addition to adjusting your snake's diet, you can help your snake to reduce weight by adding a few climbing items to your snake's enclosure. Anything that encourages your snake to move around. Branches are always a good choice. This will help them burn fat effectively. You'd be surprised at how subtle changes are often the best changes. And on that note, that'll wrap things up for this video. We hope you found this content informative. If you like what you saw and heard, please click that subscribe button and join us here on YouTube. Whether you're viewing this video from snakesforpets.com or the YouTube platform via our channel, Please subscribe. We produce fresh content on a regular basis, so stick around and join the fun. Question time. Do you have an overweight snake? Have you ever had an overweight snake? If so, what are you doing or what did you do to remedy the issue? Did you take your snake to the vet to receive helpful advice? Did you simply take matters into your own hands and adjust your snake's diet? Please let me know in the comments section below. Whether you're dealing with this issue now or have dealt with it in the past, I love to read your story. The information you provide can be beneficial in helping others. Until we meet again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best with your daily snake care, and we hope you have a wonderful day.